Hey guys, this is Rahul. In our last lecture of Angular 5 tutorial, we learned how to configure and use Bootstrap framework in our Angular 5 app. Okay, so this lecture is continuation of part 2 of this Angular series. If you didn't go through yet of that part 1 or part 2 of this series, please watch before proceeding. I have given the link of part 1 or part 2 in our description of this video. Okay, so now in this lecture, we will discuss how our Angular app will work and how our server detects our changes done in angular app okay so this is the page you can see here is the same we left in our last lecture and the content the, uh, you can see here right now if you remember we changed in our last lecture okay so we changed the content uh, of uh, uh, this page from app component or ts file Let's go to its view page. That means the app.component.html page and change some HTML text here. Okay, so let's remove. Let's first remove h2 and the new element tag, unnecessary text, and uh, this image tag. And let's let's add uh, h3 tag here and uh, add some text. This is part three of Angular 5.2 okay and now if we save this we will see changes over the live page immediately like this make sure ng serve is still running on your system otherwise page won't be update for you now the question comes into our mind how our server or browser or uh, which is hosting our this app knows when we change some content into the html file or of the component okay you would be thinking there is only app component in this right now in this project that is why it's html being serve, served by the server this is not the actual reason the reason is this is not the actual file being served by the server at the actual file which is being served by the server that is index.html as I told you earlier in the beginning videos of this tutorial series. And remember, I told you earlier, Angular is a framework which allows you to create single page application. So this is that single page which, I, which has served by server, this index.html file. Now, if we have a look at this file, we see this is a normal HTML file. We see this is HTML, this is head as we have in normal HTML file, this is title and one most important tag in the body of this HTML file that is app root. Somehow this index.html file seems to be have changed and it did. Since app root is the default HTML element, instead this is one of our own component tag which is coming from this app.component.ts file. You can see here, app root, okay? So this is the component which created, which has been created by CLI for us. And all the files in the app folder, we see here app.component.css, app.component.html, app.component.spec.ts, app.component.ts, except this app module.ts. These files, these all files related to this app root component. I will go into more detail about these files in one of our next lectures. For now, let's take a closer look at app.component.ts file. Here you can see this at component decorator in this file which is very important but the most important than this is this selector which has the string value that is app root and this is the same value which is being used in index.html if you remember and in actual this is the information angular needed to be able to replace this part here this part 
with the template of this app root component. Since component having this selector like this, since component having this selector like this, template of this component that is app.component HTML has the simple content here. That is what basically happens at the startup of this Angular app. If we go to the source code of this page in the browser, we will get a couple of script imported at the end. Let's see this. You can see here these scripts that is inline.bundle.js, polyfills.bundle.js, styles.bundle.js, vendor.bundle.js, main.bundle.js. So these all are scripts that is imported by the Angular CI automatically. We don't see them in raw index.html file. As we can see here, there is no script in this simple HTML uh, index.html file. But uh, in the runtime, uh, Angular CLI imports these all files at the end of this file. This ng-self process reveals our project. It will create JavaScript bundles and automatically import them in the index.html file. And this script contains our own source code, which we write in components like this. These scripts actually first code to be executed and also code which has in our main.ts file. That is this. So let's have a closer, closer look at this main.ts file. So that's why it is called main. And here in the main.ts file, there are a lot of things to discuss. We will discuss about these all things in later videos. But the most important here is this method, this line. Platform browser dynamic dot bootstrap method. So here, this line bootstrap or we can say starts our angular application by passing app module to this method and app module refers to this app.module.ts file so we see this line execute this line bootstrap or starts this app module and app module which is refers which is referring to this app module.ts file and now if we have a look at this module file we actually see that this bootstrap array which basically have the list of all all those components which should be known to angular at the point of time it analyzes our index.html file i mean when app, app angular application runs in starting it analyzes the index.html file so we have all those components, the list of all those components, which uh, which is being rendered in the index.html file. Okay, so when Angular gets started, this main.ts file gets started. There we uh, bootstrap our Angular mod application and tells the Angular uh, this about this app module. I mean, the pass this Angular app module as an argument to this bootstrap module. And in this module, app.module.ts file, uh, we tell Angular there is an app component which you should know when you try to start yourself. And Angular now analyzes the app component and reads the setup of uh, this app component. We pass here in uh, at the at component decorator this one and uh, and see and then knows about this selector that is app root and now angular is able to handle this app root in index.html file as you can see here and now angular knows that i should insert the app component and the app component has this template which is attached to this app.component.html file which is this which has this html code basically and this is how our angular application starts now i hope you are aware with how angular application starts how main.ts file bootstrap app module i mean how main.ts file starts app module how app module bootstrap bootstraps app component how app component template renders on the app page 
So now in our next lecture, we can proceed with how components actually work, what are the components, how we can create our own components and what this app module here does in detail. What this app module here does in detail. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching this video. Have a good day.